Okay, what is going on, everybody? Figured I'd bring you little custom zombies for your Sunday. Here that'd be a little bit of fun for everybody. I gotta buy a gun. This is exactly what I needed. I think I wanna go with that one first. So I'm thinking for this just to kinda keep it interesting, kinda limit how long yeah, the video is. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do like a uh, knock their own totem challenge and go no perks and only buying weapons off the wall because I think the mystery box on this is horrible. And just because I don't think I've uploaded any of this map, this is uh, Subway. Really cool map, I love it. It's got a nice little bio I did activate it, I thought I activated the power. Never mind. Let's turn on the power, go show you. This is one, it's nice, it's a little box map, which I really, it's really fun, especially if you have some friends playing. Yeah, you gotta get 50,000 points in order to buy your way off the map. And, yeah, like I said, this is one that I love playing with other guys. I've only ever done it with one other guy. I really, uh, whenever I can get all of, uh, my group on, I'd love to see what three or even four guys on this map would look like. I'm trying to let these guys kind of catch up and try to train a little bit, but try to get some more points. Gotta love that 90 frames per second on really old games. But you know what? I'm just gonna shoot everyone. Try to get this thing finished up for everyone. That way we're not here all day. Because I actually have a party that I'm going to tonight. Cousin's 18th birthday. Pretty exciting. Doing a Mexican fiesta. Which is really funny because we are the whitest people ever. No, this is one of those maps, guys. If you have World at War on the PC, I highly, highly recommend that you download this map. I, I'll i see if I can find the link to the download, and I'll link it. If not, I will link it later on. Because I want to say, I actually was trying to find this one, and I couldn't find it, but get my other friend to download it. But no, this is just, oh, such a great map. No, but I figured this right here, I was a little, I was irritated with Black Ops 3 today and I just could not handle it, so I figured I'd come in here, play a little World at War custom zombies. Good target practice. It just pop clean up. How about no? No, stay back. No, so guys, this is probably going to be a f pretty long little video. Depending on how long it is, I might go ahead and cut it up into being multiple videos for today. I would love for it to be just one, but I couldn't. For some reason, my. PC recording doesn't uh, isn't compatible with YouTube's live streaming. Otherwise, I'd be doing this live for you. No, I found on this map especially best strategy is kind of just wait with all, especially with them spawning out of the ground. You have to wait till they're all kind of in here, and then you have to remember to kill them slowly. That way, you're not gonna be getting mauled yeah, I think that if I go ahead and I do this little sprint here come up turn 
around and just fire into the group. Now let them spawn. I don't know how many are going to be spawning in. Sure looks like it's that's it. Good. I how oh, I hate it when they have when you have just like a whole another group have to spawn in. No, so I'm kind of I can't remember how many rounds it ends up usually taking to win this thing. Oh yeah, another thing I kind of forgot. There are no drops on this map. Which makes it really interesting. <laughs> or not, eh, not really. It just... It's kind of one of those, it's nice and... Zombies, when you get a max ammo, because you don't have to go spend... Points to get ammo. Or when you get like a nuke, and you just take out the whole group. But, then again, on this map, that's not very helpful, because... The goal is... To get as many points as possible. I really, uh, I want stamina up, but I want this to be a true knockdown, no perks, nothing. Just gonna suffer with nothing, because that will just make it that much more challenging and interesting. Because I've beat this map a couple of times. It's not the hardest map until it's actually. I take it back. As solo, not a hard map. It's pretty easy solo. When you play with friends, though, that's when it gets really hard. And this is this is the point where it starts to get really interesting. Is when you got kill a couple and you still have like a whole another group that needs to spawn. But yeah, like you said. This is definitely, if you guys have not played this map, you should go ahead and get it. Because it is a ton of fun. And also, if you guys would like me to in the future, like maybe the next time I'm playing custom zombies like this, and it's just a box map like this where you just gotta survive. If you guys want to comment any questions or anything, that, or any topics or anything that you want me to talk about, in the next one, I can go ahead and have all of those kind of set up and just talk about all of it while I'm doing this. Okay, so I got 10,000 by round 6. And... Yeah. So, coming into round 7, I don't know how many rounds. Because I've never really gone for a super good speed run I always kind of get end up <laughs> I always end up kind of screwing around and wasting my points then again if I was smart I probably should have bought the mp40 instead of the stg but I like the stg a little bit better because it's got a much nicer like run around and buy it little spot then the, the MP40's got just that pillar that you, it's really stupid, but you can get caught on it. And I'm not the best with a mouse and keyboard, so I go for, let's avoid anything that's going to end up getting me killed pointlessly. Okay, reload, reload, sprint. <laughs> Reload. 69. Uh, not, not, I don't have a great sense of humor, guys. Or at least I'm not too funny most of the time. Really, my funny is more of the root. And how am I getting points? Oh, you're dying. Not creepy when they keep screaming at you. Ugh, 600 points down the drain. Okay, I think this is generally about the time that it starts getting really interesting. I'm just hoping that I can 
go ahead and survive and buy my way out of this for you guys and not die. That's so annoying because you have to... Like, you basically have unlimited sprint, but you have to constantly hit the button for it. First hit. I don't feel like this is a good thing. Trying to just shoot these guys so I kill them as slowly as possible. This is where I could really use on a. There's a different custom zombie map that the guy made. It's the. I think it's the Thompson. When you pack punch, it becomes the point whore. So it just. It has like a 500 round magazine and each bullet does one damage. So when you're training like this, you're just sitting there racking in points like you would not believe but then again the fire blending on that one's like 200,000 so it makes a whole lot more sense that you would have a gun like that line up a little bit I'll just, uh, no, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use as much of my ammunition as possible. If I come past here, grab some ammo. I think that that right there is the best way of doing it. I think if you just get down to where you have exactly one magazine left. There we go. At 16,000. Got a lot more to go. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're a long ways off. Hopefully, I'm, I'm thinking by around 11, we've got enough to do... I, I think by round 11, we're going to be halfway there. Yeah, I think I think that's reasonable. We'll get 9,000 points in two rounds. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's right. Especially with how many zombies end up spawning in on this map at a time. Because that would basically be 10 points per hit. Gotta get in. so I basically have to shoot. Ah, that might be a little tough. Then again, these things are gaining health pretty quickly. Ah, I might. I don't know. That's kind of a tough thing. This playing custom zombies not playing the same map hundreds of times like you do in like the black ops when you're playing the campaign zombies style so doing that you kind of get a hint of oh by this point I should have this much this many points whereas on this minus just knowing that hey I'm gonna get that my speed runs like, I want to say my speed run typically is, like, round 17 on this map. Kind of just screwing around by myself. So, that would kind of give me the hint that I'm going to be around 50,000 by round 17. But, other than that, I don't have a whole lot to go on. Oh, 
Okay, so. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, I take about round 10, we're gonna have the halfway mark. So, yeah, I think we're on track. We could definitely get this thing finished up pretty quickly. Well, I mean, definitely not as quickly as, like, a TDM match or even a Domination or Hardpoint match in Black Ops 3, but can definitely get a pretty good zombie map run done. That's actually, I think that's a better run right there. Keeps them in a much tighter group. Well, I think that right there is what I'm going to start doing from now on. Die, zombies, die. Don't spawn. No, spawning is bad. Can you imagine if I had double tap right now? Be doing this whole process a whole heck of a lot faster. No, just don't itch. Oh yeah, guys, this right here, this is the better way of doing it. Hey, someone needs to clean up those freak bits. Twenty-three thousand. Not too bad for round ten. Like I said though guys, this is one of those maps, it's a little bit nicer, it's a little bit easier just because it is a box map, there's not a whole lot to buy, and especially if you're playing it the way I am playing this right now, I'm not buying anything other than just ammo every once in a while. Just like maybe twice a round, so I'm gaining a ton of points and really only losing like 1200 Per round as opposed to like on any other map where you have to buy 50 doors yeah definitely this is one of those maps that it's really good for kind of just warming up when you're wanting to go play like some more competitive map this is a great one to just kind of warm up on Because, like that, going into round 11, I have 25,000, so I'm about halfway on buying my door. Which, I mean, like I said, this is also one of those maps that it is way more challenging the more people you have. Just because, like this, I can run this entire area to control my zombies. And I'm not going to run into anyone else who's training in an opposite direction of me or just doing anything really that's going to challenge me. Whereas when you're playing with friends on this map, you are going to have to all decide how you're going to work, what you're going to do, how you're going to work together. Otherwise, this is one of those maps that is just deadly to multiple people. I mean, even you'll see there's times where you kind of screw up and you die on this map in particular just from making just the slightest little mistake. Because this is one of those maps that will punish you like you wouldn't believe if you screw up at all. You definitely, you always want to avoid pack a punch. Stay away from pack a punch. That is the best way to die. But 
But yeah. So yeah. Pretty good map. I really enjoy it. And especially, I like the fact that it's very easy to just make it all work. That it's not one of those maps. It's not complicated. It's really nice for days like today when I just I seem to be really irritable. Everything I can't do anything can't make it work the way I want it to. So this is a great map for me today where I don't really have to do anything. It just is the way it's supposed to be. I don't have to work on it. I don't have to do any rituals or anything like in Black Ops 3 on Shadows of Evil. I can just kind of run in a circle and shoot zombies. And amazingly, you feel quite accomplished doing this. It's, it's really funny how really accomplished you feel having done this. Plus, it's one of those maps that's really good for guys, if you're like me, and you're not the greatest zombies player. It's a really good map for just kind of honing that skill of training. Because it's, it is, it's not a hard map to train on. But it kind of gives you that, it's a bigger practice field to train on. So that you can get good on maps like The Giant. Or uh, Der East. Where you can train, but you have to do it in a much smaller area. This is kind of, it's training wheels for training. But yeah, it's so much cheaper when you don't buy all the perks. So when you buy those perks, it puts you back another good, usually, that puts you back five, six rounds, if you really think about it, because all the perks collectively cost quite a bit more than you're really making in a round. But yeah, like this, most of the time I usually end up buying like the MP40 and this STG. Whereas, right now, I'm just rocking the STG. So let's look at it. So 1500 So 3500 I'm just going to add all these up and look at how much this would cost you. So 3500 2500 so that's going to be 5000 6000 9000 points just to get all of the perks. Which, as you can see, aren't super duper necessary. I mean, they probably they'd come in very handy if you had them, but it's not something that you're going to just instantly die without having. Unless you're stupid like me and just did exactly what I said never to do, which is run by Pack a Punch. Because it is one of the best ways to get yourself killed. But it's one of those things that you kind of, sometimes you can't avoid it, if that makes any sense. But then again, I've played this map way more than I probably should. But it's definitely, this is one of those, it's, oh, it's so much fun. It's just kind of try it and just go. The only thing I wish the map maker would have done is put some, well, actually, I would say put a ton more guns on the wall. Just so that you kind of get some variety in the guns that you can use for this strategy. So, like, this would be way harder to do if I was using something like the M14 or the, uh, I can't remember what it is in World at War. But basically, all the semi auto 10 round magazine little starter rifles. That'd be way more interesting, I think, to watch, way harder than me running around here with my STG 44. One of the easily most powerful weapons in Call of Duty, period. Or the MP40, once again, one of the most powerful weapons in the franchise. And it's pretty much the only thing you're using for this map. It makes it, I think, a little bit easier than it should be. I think this is one of those maps that it deserves to be a little harder, which I could use the mystery box to make it harder. 
I could. I probably will eventually. If you guys would like to see that, I will do that. But honestly, kind of the way I'm looking at it is I screwed up. It's not the best way to do that. Because then you kind of, if you go through there, it splits your zombies up. I need to, I, it's hard to remember. For a long time, I thought that was the best strategy was to run back there, but if you're playing here today, I think this right here is the best. You're kind of just running through these things and not the method I did. Okay, this doesn't feel right. I got it. Let's get back into a line here. There are ways to do things and ways not to do things, and trying to switch the direction of your circle is definitely not one of the things I recommend. Definitely, it'd be a good challenge for me to try to change direction here. Needs to clean up those freak bits. But I'm just gonna call my own strengths, my weaknesses, and know that I'm very patternistic, and that running in a certain direction is going to very heavily dictate how I do. And I'm thinking, guys, for this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna the second I get fifty thousand, I'm going to buy. That ending, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm going for as quick as I can. No, it's not the time, Elbow. Stop itching. I don't have the necessary hands or body parts or ability to move things to itch at the moment. It's a zombie's arm. Figure it out. Okay, I think they stopped spawning in. Oh, I miss my controller. I don't like a mouse and keyboard. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, in theory, you have way more control and all, but is it really worth that much? I don't think it is, though. Like, I know there are guys who swear by mouse and keyboard, but I just, I don't get it. I was a PC player for all of like six months, I think it's really the Yeah, I'll go with that's probably about exactly right. I was probably about six months of PC. And then I ended up taking like another nine months off because it was just I didn't want to get back into it. Then I bought a PS4 and amazingly my Joy came back. I might be able to buy this ending sooner. This might be like around 15 thing, maybe. And again, these guys are still spawning in. I might be able to crush my 17. Yeah. I mean, I'm already almost a 40. And they're still spawning in. Okay, one more loot. Yeah, they're still spawning in pretty, pretty consistently. Which I don't know what one whole group like this equates to monetarily speaking. But I think I'm going to do a nice good loop here. Yeah, they're, they're spawning in good. Nice little loop here. Grab some more ammo. That's gonna put me back, but who cares? Puts me back one. No, let's see. How long does it take me to get back up to 41? Put me back a magazine's worth. It's not not horrible. Not horrible. Oh, uh, let's get that group back a little bit closer to each other. Come on! Give me the points. 
Okay, so right now this group one magazine is giving me about a thousand. I think. Let's see. Almost. Just shy. Which I think I'm they're not spawning anymore, so I don't have a full group. So I'm I'm about like I'm probably a round away. So I'll be out of here by around 14, probably. So I think I'm gonna probably finish this around 40, 46, 46.5. Darn it! I get no points that time. Okay, well, let's just come over here and let's buy this, and yeah. So guys, and this is probably right here going to be the last little round. So if you enjoyed this video or videos, I haven't decided yet, be sure to drop a like on the video. It really helps the channel out. It gets the videos just a little bit more recognition. And be sure to comment. If, there's, if you have anything you want to see me do if on this map, you want to see me do some kind of different challenge. Or if you want me to do a different custom zombie map or if you just want to see me do more zombies material here on the channel comment that down below comment any questions or topics that you'd like me to discuss in future videos and subscribe for more just because that really that helps me out a ton plus it lets you know automatically whenever i'm posting videos that's i think the biggest benefit to subscribing uh, content creators is the fact that you just you get like uh, for me I get just instant notifications whenever anyone that I like watching's video pops up which I mean for me though my problem becomes when do I watch YouTube and when do I play for YouTube which that that's definitely that takes <laughs> it's amazing the amount of time it takes up and how much more fun all of this is than studying. Which, if you aren't in that dilemma and you can just auto go, no, I need to study, not play or video games or watch YouTube, I'm jealous. Because I don't have that ability. I am very addictive. I have a very addictive personality, though, so it doesn't really count. I have a completely different set of issues. Let's run, let's run. Oh yeah, I'm thinking round 14, this right, because they're still spawning in. I've got just a ton of points sitting right there. The question is though, guys, do I finish the round? Or do I go ahead and just end this thing the second I have the points? Oh, it didn't give me it. One more pass. Or I can just you know what? Ah, shit, I'm out of gun juice. I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna make back the money pretty quick. Plus I'll show you guys a different weapon. If you guys would like to see me do like a whole entire match with only one weapon, or like a mystery box challenge, I could do both all of that. So like I said, I really enjoy playing this map, so I'm okay playing it. 50 more times for the channel if that's what you guys would like to see. Oh yeah, I think this right here, I'm gonna do this run. Let's get down here. 50,000. Ha ha! I finished! There you go, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video be sure to let me down, know down in the comments what you would like to see in the future subscribe for more and like the video i hope you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for watching